How's it going, everybody? Welcome to We Do Tech, and also to our look at the Asus Zen Wi-Fi Pro XT12. Now, I usually don't do router shield on the channel. I usually don't like them very much, but these ones just blew me away, honestly. Um, and they're the next generation of Wi-Fi routers, I will say. Now, the problem that I had for my space here is that it's not necessarily the largest house, but I did struggle reaching the garage and upstairs with my original router, even a proper one at, at that, but it didn't reach all of the ways. And with these ones, you don't get just one, you get two with asus's ai mesh technology which automatically connects to each other and this just boosts the range to crazy far now um, i'm going to show you guys how far it actually reaches i'm going to go outside and just walk and walk and walk and do the speed test and you'll see actually how far these ones can reach so if you have a really large house triple stories just super massive then you'll definitely want to check out these because uh, you're not going to need anything else uh, forget range extenders anything like that additional stuff you only need these so we're going to take a look at all of the features all of the specs and so on so Let's get into that. Now, starting off, you do get two different versions, the XT12, which I have, and the ET12. The difference is that the ET12 features a Wi-Fi 6E and the new 6 gigahertz range. The reason being is that some countries, like here in South Africa, unfortunately, don't allow for the 6 gigahertz range yet. So I guess we'll just have to wait a tiny bit longer for that 8K streaming possibility. Now, these, unfortunately, are not cheap at around $900 or 15,000 Rand. But of course, they are not just normal routers and they're designed for a massive spaces and are just packed with a ton, a ton of features, which we'll go over. Now, a quick run on of these specs. Both are a tri-band routers and has a combination of a total data rate up to 11,000 megabits per second. It has a 2 gigahertz quad-core 64-bit processor and a 1 gig of memory. Now, unlike normal routers where you have your 2.4 and 5 gigahertz ranges, with the new ones, you do have your 2.4, 5 gigahertz, and also additional 5 gigahertz or then 6 gigahertz if you have the ET12. So this just allows for a lot, a lot more devices to connect to your router and prevent any bottlenecking from slowing down the devices. Now, I have to say that I do love the design ASUS went with. The two identical black towers with the transparent at top, where you can even see the eight antennas and the indicator light. It has a very simplistic but also modern look, which will easily fit into the majority of houses quite easily. It's also quite different from their ROG gaming router. Now, the towers do have air vents on the sides for cooling, but don't produce any noise. Now, at the back, you do get your power switch, a WPS button, a reset button, and a four RJ45 ports. Two of them are 2.5 gigabits per second WAN and LAN ports, and then two 1 gigabit per second LAN ports that feature link aggregation, which allows you to link them together to other supported devices like my Synology NAS and a double the speed to 2 gigabits per second. Very handy if you are in more production type of work. Now, quickly for the setup is actually super, super easy. All you need to do is follow the included setup guide instruction leaflet, download the app on your phone, and then follow the instructions there. It's honestly so easy to follow. You don't, you shouldn't have any problems really. All right, so let's quickly talk about range because usually I do most of my work here in the garage, the studio, but sometimes it does struggle a bit to reach all the way here now it's not too far but because of the thick brick double brick walls it does struggle sometimes and especially if i go upstairs with the massive thick concrete up here and with the smaller router that i had beforehand it was just an ac or 750 nothing too crazy but it's a, a decent router for a small house but luckily asus did also previously send over their gta x 11000 which is also this massive gaming 
router, which you guys uh, see with the, the, the legs there for the antennas. But even though that's a really good router, I did find it to struggle as well reaching upstairs. It was fine in the garage, but upstairs, again, between the, the, the stairs upwards, it did struggle there a bit. So even with that, I needed to have a range extender as well to boost it a bit further. But now with the ET12, even just a single one is able to reach all the way upstairs and also all of the rooms up there as well. The range on this thing is really, really good. And I'll show you guys how far it reaches outside as well. So I'm not exactly sure if it's because it's a newer version. The, the GTA X 11,000 is a bit older, but still really good. I think it's a bit better for an open up plan instead of reaching all the way upstairs. But now that's only one of the ET12s and it was able to reach all the way up there so let me give you show you guys where the other one is again going upstairs and it was struggling to get all the way up here bouncing between all of the walls here again the, the thick concrete at the bottom and then up here is one room and then there are two additional rooms and it definitely struggled to reach all the way back there. The 2.4 gigahertz was okay to reach over here, but it was still a low signal, but the five gigahertz really, really struggled. And mostly it only reached my room here. But now with the second ET12 over here, just above the stairs, it is a no problem reaching all the way back here in the room that's I'm busy packing up because I'm moving soon and then also the gym so if we want to get a bit of pump on <laughs> I could watch some videos while doing that so uh, it's able to reach all the way now again with only one it wasn't a problem even because the range is really that good it was able to reach all the way up here but with the second one it just boosts it even further now I will say it's not the biggest house that I'm living in so if you have a multi-story house or if you have a really really large house then that's going to work a lot lot better now also depending on what material your house is made out of if your house is made out of wood that's less of a, a resistance for the wi-fi signal especially again the five gigahertz range uh, but for bricks and a double double bricks and the concrete and everything that's really a struggle for the wi-fi to reach through but now let me quickly show you guys how far it can actually reach even outside of the house because that really amazed me. All right, so now let's quickly see what speeds we get inside the house on our five gigahertz range. And then we're gonna go outside and see how far we can actually get. Now I already tested this and it blew my mind, but I have a 100, 100 um, uh, line. So 100 download and 100 upload as well. So we're gonna outside, see how far we get and also the speeds then as well, so. All right, so we're just outside the house now, around 15 meters uh, from the router. So let's quickly do another test. Still on five gigahertz. Still reaching around that 100 range that we should. And again, outside the house, double bricks. Now the door is open, which probably helps. So our upload definitely fell a bit to around 27, but our download was still fine at 100. So let's go go further. All right, so now we're around 30 meters away. It's the house over there. We still have a signal. Let's go run a test and see what speeds we get. So still ping seven. So speeds definitely did drop down to around 40 megabyte, megabytes a second, but it's still going download. Our upload definitely fell to around like nine now. But again, we're around 30 meters outside of the house. 30 meters, let's go see how far we can get. All right, so now we're around 50 meters away from the house again over there, and we still have a signal, 50 meters. So let's go run a test and see how much we get now. It's probably gonna struggle somewhat. 20, 22 uh, for download. So upload is gonna be a bit slower, but I mean, still 50 meters away on the five gigahertz. Now, weirdly, I found that the five gigahertz is a bit better range-wise, weirdly, um, reaching a bit further than the, the 2.4, but still reaching that. <laughs> All right, so let's see how far we can actually get. I haven't tested further than 50 meters yet, so. Ah, so. All right, so 60 is a bit too far, but I mean, 50 meters away from the house and again brick walls double brick walls all of that and we're still able to connect <laughs> 
So that, that really blew my mind. I didn't think it was going to go that far, but it did. So I'm really, really impressed with the range. All right, so I'm back inside, warmer finally. Um, so if you guys want something that has a crazy range, then uh, the ET12s is definitely going to reach that. Again, I do have two now, but even one was able to reach the entire house, which not only the under Rogers was able to do, I need to use extenders for that. So just a single one is enough, but two of them is going to reach even further. And the cool thing about the AI mesh is that you can connect even additional ones onto them and reach even further. Now, luckily the uh, GTA X11000 did also have the AI mesh included, so you can connect more and reach further. But with this one, it just on its own reaches further anyway. Now, again, I'm not exactly sure if the X12 is just better for an open plan, whereas mine, again, is going upstairs. The Wi-Fi needs to jump around quite a lot to reach all the way up there. So it might be a bit stronger because of the newer technology being used, but still, I'm really, really impressed with the ET12s. And if you have, again, a multi-story house, and or even if you have possibly, let's say, a apartment outside your house, you can even add one there and one inside your house and we'll be able to connect and actually boost the signal further. Then uh, lastly, some additional features that you get are the uh, VPN security options, either with the free and included instant guard, or you can of course use a third party VPN service like a Surfshark. You also do get a WPA3 security protocol, a SUSE's AI protection pro, which blocks malicious sites, has a two way IPS and a prevention and a blocking infected devices. Even more than that, you do also have IFTTT, Adaptive QoS, a traffic monitor and analyzer built in, Google and Alexa voice controls, and then also add advanced parental controls to keep the little ones safe. So that's pretty much it for my look at the ASUS Zen Wi-Fi Pro XT at 12. Should remember all of the names. So again, I'm blown away by by the range of these routers. At, I mean, 50 meters outside the house, went through all of the, the brick walls and the Wi-Fi and everything, five gigahertz. That honestly blew me away. I didn't think it's going to reach that far. Even just a single one was able to reach the entire house. Again, be beating out the uh, the GTA X 1000 or 11,000. And of course, also for content creators with that uh, link aggregation, it's going to work perfect for that with the, your NAS or whatever else you want to use it for. But overall, I think it's just an easy way for people who have a large house to connect their entire house to everything and also have enough Wi-Fi lanes and connectors, uh, connections are possible to connect everything to. But of course, everything is going to depend up to your use case if you need all of that. If not, but of course, ASUS does also have lower models, which you can go for, which will cover your needs. Uh, I'm moving to a smaller place or relatively soon, and possibly something like that will work better for me then, or just one of these. <laughs> but now, again, that's pretty much it. Thanks to ASUS South Africa sending these over for our uh, video. If you guys want to get it for yourself, I will leave links in the video description. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, and comment like always, and I will check all of you guys next time. Cheers.